Okay. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody can uh, hear and see us. Uh, I am obviously Elaine Polly. Joining me is Stephanie Smith. Hi. And Stephanie knows all the things about MagnaCon and, well, all the things about all the things. Because she has been with MagnaWave for... Going on seven years. Seven <laughs> years, which is um, a, a fantastic amount of time. Yes. Not too long. <laughs> um, so Stephanie and I are going to go through. We're going to answer your questions about MagnaCon. We do have an agenda here. If you look at the bottom of the Zoom here, let me let me make this full screen for us at least. Um, if you look at the bottom, there is an area where it says reactions. Um, if you click that up, there's a place where you can raise your hand. Uh, so at the end of today's, um, or not at the end, but towards the end, after we go through everything, we're going to allow you guys to ask some questions. So you're going to want to raise your hand um, at that time, and we'll go through and we'll say your name and we'll ask you to unmute and then you could come on and ask a question. Okay. If you do want to do that, we do ask that your camera be on. It just makes it for a better town hall experience. So we can see your face and talk to you. Um, okay. So, and for you to have your name, um, in there as well, so that we know who we are speaking with. Okay, great. So should we just get right into it? Yeah, can I say something before we get started? Yes, Stephanie, say something. Um, I'm not used to having a friend. <laughs> just for everyone that is joining us, today is Elaine's birthday, so oh. send her well wishes. <laughs> Yay, okay, great. Um, oh, thank you. Look, Nikki used the reactions. Wow, she yeah. put a heart up there. That's fantastic. <laughs> See, we don't usually have all that fun stuff. <laughs> all right. That's great. Um, okay. So let's, let's get to the questions. So first of all, let's just go through the basics. Um, where is MagnaCon? <laughs> so MagnaCon is hosted here in Louisville at Louisville Marriott East. There are several Marriott's in Louisville. So make sure you're looking at Louisville Marriott East because we're not down where we were last time. Right. We're not at the, we're not at the, uh, we're at the Marriott we were at last time, but we're not at the hotel we were at last two years ago. Mm -hmm. We are at the Marriott East and or on Huba app is where the virtual MagnaCon will be. So if you haven't downloaded the Huba app and you have the virtual or in-person tickets, go ahead and do that. That's W-H-O-V-A. Download that app and get logged in, right? Yep. It'll have all the hotel information. There's the reservation links and the phone number for the hotel. So you can call um yeah everything you need to know about the hotel is there along with the floor plan okay and the closest airport is that's our Louisville International Airport uh, it's about a 20 minute drive so we do have um in Hoover you can do ride sharing you can schedule ride sharing but you could also Uber Lyft whatever whatever works best for you so in the Hoover app you would go to the community tab which is the purple icon and that's how you would uh maybe ask the question if somebody's getting in at the same time of you if you guys wanted to share an Uber or a Lyft you can actually go into Uber which I love I do this all the time when I travel and you can pre-schedule a pickup and a drop off for our, uh, the next day later in the day so if you know when your plane's going to arrive you could go ahead and set that up if you wanted but you all Let's be real. Stanford Field isn't a giant airport. We have two terminals. It's like not that hard. You just go straight and Very then you, easy to you end up of. in the airport. Like there's not, you can only exit one way. Okay. So don't worry. You won't get lost in that airport. Um, okay. So schedule of events. Like we, we know that there, first of all, I do want to preface this by saying things are changing. So the schedule of events that's in Hoover, I promise you will not look like the way it looks now. That is a very basic schedule. We do have a lot of changes that we're kind of keeping back because there's some surprises that if we put it on the schedule, you would know about it and it wouldn't be a surprise. And that's not how surprises work. So the time is about the same, but yes, it is going to be, there are going to be some changes. So do not get frustrated when you see some things move around. Um, because we are going to have to do that in order to keep everything under wraps. Yeah. And once for our in-person attendees, when you uh, check in at registration, your goodie bag will have a final version of the itinerary as a printout, as well as it will be final that day uh, in Hoopa. Right. And for the um, online attendees, virtual attendees, you are basically going to get a live stream of pretty much everything going on, except you're going to have your own giveaways throughout the day, um, some one-on-one -on -one sessions, whenever, some one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversations. So it's going to be uh, different, but the same. It's going to be very, very, very much like a uh, live broadcast of any uh, event has ever been in the history of live yeah. broadcasts. And with uh, our virtual attendees, 
watching on your phone is not always the easiest. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. So there is a computer link that will um, basically reformat the app so you can watch it on a computer. So it'll make the sessions a little bit easier to see. Um, so you can find that in the announcements. There's an organizer announcement and it's all listed there with the link that you can just click and watch it on a tablet or a computer. Right. And everything will be available again for you guys to rewatch if you miss it. So don't don't worry about any of that if you watch that virtually. OK, so they download the app and they sign in with the email they use to buy a ticket for Whova, correct? Yes. OK, great. If you don't use that email, it's going to ask you for a code. So if for some reason you know that you're using the email and it's still asking you for code, you can just email support at mwpmf.com and we can look at your account in Whova to see if maybe Gmail is misspelled or something like that and fix it. So that way you can get in. So in the community area, they can do a lot of different things in the Whova app. Like what, what can they do in there? Um, so the community is where all the chats are starting. So mm -hmm. if you have questions about sessions, everybody can can talk to you. Um, I also have a lot of our uh, breakout sessions listed in there. So you can sign up for those. There's virtual meets um, for our virtual attendees. And uh, a bunch of people have actually set up like coffee dates and stuff in the morning. So you can do all of that. <laughs> I highly <laughs> encourage that. Yeah. I mean, that's why you're coming, right? Like if you have an interest that you would like to maybe speak with somebody or learn more about, let's say you want to learn more about swine or you want to learn more about whatever, right? So make a coffee meetup and put it in the community tab and say, anybody interested in learning more or sharing your experience in livestock, like just to have everybody come together. Yeah, it's a it's the network hub of all of Whova. I love that. I love that. Um, okay, so let's go. We do have uh, some people who are a little bit confused by the breakouts, but we might be adding some more. We're working mm -hmm. off the schedule right now. Yes. So basically what's going to happen is we do have uh, practitioners that have been multiple years that have seen our equine hands-on training sessions that may not want to rewatch it. So during hands-on training, we are scheduling some breakouts that are optional. You don't have to go to them. Um, but they'll be over various topics and you can sign up for those. We are keeping them very small. So like 20 people per breakout. Um, that way you all can network, talk about experiences you've had and get questions and feedback from some of our staff or other practitioners. Um, so we will have those again, they're optional, but yeah. uh, we asked if you do want to join one of those breakouts to sign up and you can do that right through the community tab um, under the meetups section. Yeah, so imagine that as like a coffee breakout, but like with a moderator that is very knowledgeable from us. So you are, you are, there's all of the marketing stuff that we are talking about. A lot of these things, not only will there be a main conversation about this in the, in the main presentation of MagnaCon, but we will also have a table that is set out in the vendor area with our marketing team. So you will be able to interact with them all the time. So if you can't get into one of the breakouts, don't worry, you are going to still get a ton of education. It's just an extra thing for those who may want to go and have some one-on-one -on -one time um, and learn some more. Yeah, great. Um, how do they sign up? So one of the things that's new this year is testimonials. So one of, we are really trying to grow not only our testimonials for animals, but our testimonials for the aura human side. And the reason for this is that these are testimonials that we want to share with you all in the products, in the um practitioner portal, but also online that then you guys could share to help you build your business. So the idea here is to get these that look very, the expertise that you could maybe load into your video booklets that you guys can use this content too. So how do they sign up if they want to share a testimonial? And we're doing some giveaways with the testimonials, right? Yes. So um, we will have a couple of different kinds of testimonial giveaways that we're doing. So we're doing Magnum specific uh, testimonials, MagnaCon, so how you like the event. Um, and then we're also going to do some for those that have Aura devices. So we will draw at random for those three categories, and then we'll have a special prize for those. Um, to sign up to schedule for a testimonial, they are in the agenda, and you can just scroll. Right now, they're only for Wednesday and Friday, just because Thursday, our schedule is a little bit tighter with Churchill Downs. Um, that may change, but yeah, you can go to the agenda and find those testimonial sessions and RSVP for those for a time that works for you. Yeah, so you'll be able to go in, you go to a separate room, you'll sit down there about you know, anywhere, 15 minutes. yeah, 15 minutes. And some of that will be us prepping you. And you're just going to tell your story about what you want to share, how you like MagnaCon, how you like MagnaWave for whatever animal stuff, how you like PMF for human stuff, whatever you sign up for. And then we will take those testimonials and you will, obviously we will reuse them to help share with, with the group, right? So everybody can then share them and use them. Um, but 
If you do that, you get entered to win the special prizes just for testimonials. Uh, and again, those are Wednesday and Friday, like Stephanie said. So what about the bourbon tasting? So we have this breakout. It's going to be fun. It's Friday night. It's a bourbon tasting. Tell me more about that. So this is something I'm excited for. Um, I'm not a bourbon drinker myself, but I've been working on this for months with Marriott. So we do have um, Friday night from 6 to 8 p.m. There is an optional bourbon tasting since you are in the heart of bourbon country while you're here. Um, so we have three different package options. Um, so the first two are uh, three flights. They're half ounce pours and there's uh, bourbons of the bluegrass, which is all Kentucky bourbon. Um, and then we have the Battle of the Ten Year, which is all 10 year bourbons. So we have those two. And if you are a bourbon drinker, um, we have a six flight <laughs> option that you can do as well. Um, so it's $30 to do the single packages or $55 to do all six. Um, and you can sign up for that through the agenda. Uh, Friday night, there is a session for the bourbon tasting and you can just purchase your tickets through that. How long do they have till we stop taking people for that? I'm keeping it open pretty much through the whole event. Maybe cut it off a couple hours before on Friday, but okay. that way, if you all start talking and decide at the event you want to buy your tickets, um, you can do that. You will just have to find one of our staff to get, we have physical tickets that you'll have to hand off um, once you go to the ballroom for that tasting, just so the staff knows what to pour you, uh, the Marriott staff knows what to pour. Um, but yeah, so you'll just find one of our team members and then get a ticket. Yeah. If you, even if you're not like a huge bourbon drinker, like it, you can taste it. They're going to, you know, the, the master distiller person is going to explain mm -hmm. like the flavor profile and I don't know the grapes in the ground or whatever. It's not grapes, but you know what <laughs> I mean? You get it. You know, you've been to a wine tasting, you can spit it out. You don't have to drink it all, but it, I think it is a very interesting part of our history. You're going to Churchill Downs. That's going to be a ton of fun. So we're really giving you the whole bluegrass experience. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, plus, I don't have to dress up in a crazy costume. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't love doing that, but my voice is always gone and I'm tired. Okay, so that's wonderful. So we have the Battle of the Ten Years, Bourbon, Blue Rats. Okay, dress code for Churchill Downs. This is a big one. And dress code for the event uh, as a whole. So dress code for the event is business casual. So we have MagnaCon shirts and T-shirts and things that you can wear, but um, you know, not like holy jeans or anything, just business casual, um, just because we will be taking photos of everybody uh, when you bought your ticket. You and signed, videos. Yeah, you signed a media release. So we will be, you will be on camera probably at some point just through the crowd. Um, so business casual for that. Churchill Downs does have a dress code. They do. And they will enforce it. So they will make sure that <laughs> you do have that um, squared away. So it is in Whova in the FAQs. It's also on the FAQs on Manicon.com. Um, but for them, it's more like vest, shirt, uh, dress shirts, um, slacks, no jeans, no jean jeans, shorts. like no light color jeans, yeah, no jean only. shorts, nothing with holes in it. Dresses are fine. Hats are also encouraged. I know a lot of people like to wear like derby-esque hats and fascinators, so you can do that too. Um, just from experience, heels are not recommended there, or at least high heels, because we do have a lot of walking. I will wear heels. Too. I mean, I'll be in heels too, but maybe not like. Just be careful anything. if you don't wear them a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because there is some walking. I mean, we will we will walk to get to where we're sitting. Yeah, and we'll be up in Millionaire's Row. So if you've attended in past years, this is a new room for us. This so is even higher. Yeah, and we'll be over or more over the finish line, whereas before we were down a little bit. So we'll have a really, really good view. Yeah, this is awesome. And the Magnolia Classic. This is the room we've been trying to get, which now they are giving us. Yay! I'm so excited about this. So it's going to be, it's great, right? It's just us in there, mm -hmm. in the room. And we have a full buffet that that will be in there for everyone to eat. Um, waters and sodas are free. Mm -hmm. There is a cash bar and it's not cheap. I'm just telling you right now. Churchill is, I mean, it It was all the rage of the articles in town about how much drinks cost at the Derby this year and Derby week. So just keep that in mind. But it is, um, and we will get you there um, on some very nice tour buses, not school buses, and then we will get you back. But it is very important, you all, to pay attention to when the buses leave the hotel and when the buses leave Churchill. We will send out text messages through the app, but it is, we 
people just miss it. Every single year, somebody is left behind because we send out the message. We let everybody know they have too many mitchulips. They end up in the paddock or what for whatever reason. It could be other reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, but just keep in mind that that is important. We don't want to leave you behind, but there is a time that those buses are going to push off with or without everyone. Yeah. And if for some reason you are one of those that's left behind, um, I will have, at least from Marriott, I'll have the Churchill Downs parking map. Um, but if you do Uber there, they will take you to the same gate we are dropped off at. Um, so I'll put all that information in there and we will send many notifications at Churchill of what countdowns of when we're going to get on the bus again. Yeah, that Thursday is a quick turnaround. Like we have like 45 minutes, possibly a little bit more. 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, we're going to say 45 minutes because I'm going to eat that time for that hour, I promise you. So that 45 minutes is going to be like where you're going to run upstairs. That's why I always tell people like try to stay at our hotel or really, really close by or bring a change of clothes and change, uh, you know, ask somebody or you can change to the bathroom or whatever so that you don't, you can change at the hotel because we will go straight to Churchill um, and we all meet in the lobby uh, for us to, to head out for that quick turnaround. Yeah. So wear clothes and clothes and be ready. You know, you know, all those this is off topic, but at, it is my birthday. So I'm gonna go off topic. But, you know, like growing up, you know, those like te- you you don't know. But there, there was you, some of you all might know, but there's like these teeny bopper magazines that used to like from day to night, like you had all these clothing options. Like I believed that there was going to be a lot more times in my life where I was going to have to go from day to night, you know, like a lot that that has not happened. I don't know if like where that is, like, what is that? I don't know. Like, they're like, you're going to need this wardrobe when you're a working person from day to night. No, you don't. No, you don't. You go home. Your feet are, you're going to bed. Anyways. Okay. So, but that's the day. That's the day where you go from day to night. I also thought quicksand was going to be much more of a problem growing up too. This is an eighties problem. I think that. No, people... I, I learned a lot about quicksand. Quicksand, it's man. Like, what, you would thought Kentucky was covered in quicksand. <laughs> quicksand and fire was like, I was going to be set on fire and falling in quicksand a lot as an adult. Yeah. Not, well, luckily neither has happened, but um, okay. So let's keep moving through these. Um, so we have machine repair. Dun, dun, dun. Machine repair. The first time we actually had MagnaCon, people just brought their machines. We had like a like hundred. They were like, we just want to get this tuned up all on the same day. We were like, that's not how math works. But so we have a program now. Uh, talk about this. So we have two options if you are looking to get your machine either repaired or just manual maintenance or annual maintenance. Um, you can either bring your machine to MagnaCon to drop off and then we will ship it to you after the event just because we have to keep working on what's here. Um, or you can ship it in before MagnaCon and pick your machine up during the event. Um, we have a couple stipulations for those. So if you are wanting to drop it off at MagnaCon, Um, We do ask that you go on our website and fill out the repair form before because you'll have to have an RMA number assigned already. And then you can come to MagnaCon with your machine and come to the MagnaWave shop and we will have your RMA number ready and then we'll just take it back. And then you will go through the standard seven to 10 days and get the information on shipping once it's repaired and we'll send it Yeah, it takes like, we're saying seven to 10 business days for shipping back. And I would say this, the loaner part, if you want a loaner, if you're dropping off at MagnaCon and you want a loaner, Go fill out that RMA form now and request a loaner so that if there are is one available, we'll be able to have one for you. I can't promise you that we will have one available. We use a lot of machines during this event, you all. So I'm just saying, if you want to do that, please try now because we cannot promise you. Okay, keep going. Um, okay, so the other one, if you want to pick up your machine at MagnaCon from sending it in early, um, you'll need to fill out the repair form again and have your machine delivered to our office no later than 29th of May. So do that now if you're wanting to get it in to take home with you at MagnaCon. Yeah, so whenever you fill out that repair form, it's this is part of the process of any good medical device company. This is not, we don't try to make it difficult for you all. It's just that we have got to ask the questions that we ask. We have got to document them. We do have inspections to say ISO uh, certified here in our Uh, factory. So we have to ask you those questions. Those questions then have to be uh, logged into our system with your serial number. And then we have to issue what's called a return merchandise authorization number. That is required, again, for our uh, good manufacturing practices. You would then, once you get that number with our address, you could ship the machine to us. So go ahead and fill that form out so that you could get that number and get it shipped to us by May 29th. Um, Yeah. 
Well, I'm sure there's going to be some people who have some questions about that, but we open up for Q&A. We'll just battle those when we get there. And if you are shipping it in early with the intention of picking it up at MagnaCon, there is like a notes section on that repair form. You can just say, I want to pick this up at MagnaCon just so we know right away to have that ready for you. Um, and we don't try to repair it and ship it back before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that way you're coming to Manicon, like where's well, my machine and done. sent it to you. <laughs> yes, you had it. Okay. So let's talk about giveaway categories because we're giving things away. A lot. A lot of things. I know. All the I things. am <laughs> always loving the giveaways, which we're going to do today as well. Okay. So let's talk about uh, what, what giveaway categories we have. We have machines, obviously. Yep. Okay. We have attachments. Of every, every attachment has a giveaway, maybe a couple. Okay. Accessories. Yep. Including rocks and video booklets. Uh -huh. There's a few more of that. But we have my business class. My business class. Yep. The big one. Uh huh. The big yeah, one. Yeah, your once a year, six week business class. Yeah, great. Uh, supplements. We got Hydrowave, C60, and the, I'm not going to say that word. No. The, <laughs> the other one that may or may not be there. Uh, okay, great. So we have some exciting stuff as well as some amazing vendors. And those vendors will have. Um, their own discounts, their own giveaways mm -hmm. throughout the event. And some that's them, for virtual and in person. Yeah. And some of them, uh, some of the vendors already have their discounts and coupon codes in Whova under the exhibitor center. So you can take advantage. I know um, AOPP already has their discount. Um, I think it is only valid during the event, but you can at least take a sneak peek and see what, what they're offering. Great. Um, okay. So another great thing is the CE hours from the vet board. Yes. This is fantastic. So um Tell us a little bit. It's for vets and licensed vet techs. Yes. In person and virtual. Yes. So this covers anybody from any state and for vets, licensed vet techs, uh, in person, virtual, it doesn't matter. So this is something that we've never had before. And I feel like really legitimizes us. And you guys. Promoting, and you guys. Yeah. Promoting MagnaWave usage along with working with your vet. Like we talk about that all the time. So um, you will get, if you are a licensed vet tech and you need a certificate of attendance, we will have those available for pickup at, uh, at MagnaCon, or you can get it in Whova. I will be uploading those, um, probably later on Friday, just at the end of the event, you can get them and then you'll just fill out your information and submit it like you would normally do, um, to your state boards. There was a little thing that I saw that might have a trans state transfer fee since you're doing your CE out of your state. So, but that varies by their state. Yeah. yeah. So, so that may vary. We don't have anything to do with that. We can't help you know states. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was it was enough to just get this as a CE. But yes, yeah, so you will have all the information, and you can just go to the MagnaWave shop if you need one of those certificates of attendance um, during the event, and they'll get that for you. Okay. So um, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Great. So they will be able to, they'll pick that up at the MagnaCon shop and then, um, do they have to, have, okay. I got so many questions for you. I, 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 I'm just not going to ask them right now. Cause I feel like I'll just go down this whole rabbit hole. So this is great though. 12 hours is a lot of hours. Yeah. In the state of Kentucky, um, a vet tech only needs six hours for the entire year. So vets, I think here need 30 hours. So it's a good portion of your CE. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Good for us. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, okay. So let's see. Oh yeah. There it, look, you put that. Oh, look, you're so good. I, you, I got it right. ready. <laughs> she is like on it. You all, she's got all sorts of things. All right. That's okay. Um, okay. So we do have some new products. That's one of the reasons that we are not, uh, having the finalized schedule because some of those new, pro some of those like things are going to be squeezed in there in over the next few weeks. So you may see some, I don't know what we're going to name them, but when we put those blocks of time, blocks. Yeah. You'll just TBD. be, yeah. So when you see that, it's not that we're just trying to figure out what we're going to put there. We just know what's going to be there. We just don't want to um, spoil the surprise. Exactly. Uh, so there's some really cool new things that I'm extremely excited about. Um, and then we'll have some special pricing for machines and attachments. That's even over and beyond your all um, certified practitioner discount. If you are a certified practitioner and let me just tell you, as a person who loves to haggle, if it was me, okay, and this is stupid that I say things like this, but this I'm just going to be honest. I this is the time you all go in, you, you know, and talk. You're right. You're face to face with a product specialist. Yeah. Like if you want something, you know, like you're there. We're here. Like 
let's taco bell you know what i mean like that's this is when i would you know i mean it never hurts to ask that's what i'm saying <laughs> need to ask more. No, I mean, in everything, in, in everything. I'm always asking. I mean, always. You know, if you go to Las Vegas, this is a tip <laughs> um, that somebody told me last week. I've never been there, but I heard this, that if you put a $50 bill between your license and your um, credit card, when you're handing your thing to the people to check you into a hotel and you say, are there any upgrades? You can't let them see it because there's cameras. You can't let the people see the $50. But then when they get your stuff that they will upgrade you, it's called like the dollar effect or the dollar bill effect or something. Someone told me about this. Always ask for an upgrade. That's what Nikki said. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but it's supposedly this works. And I was, um, yeah, at the Derby, people were all talking about it. Like it's the thing to do. I don't know if it's everywhere, just in Las Vegas. Good to know. Again, never been there. I'll remember that if I ever go. <laughs> I'll remind you. I'll remind you. Okay. So now we are going to, we have 37 chats. Okay. So now we are going to go. Oh, thank you guys. Everybody say happy birthday. Y'all are so sweet. We, now go down to reactions if you have a question and uh, you can just raise your hand and then we will call on people and um, you guys can ask some questions. Okay. Nikki, I saw yours. First, if you want to go ahead and unmute. Hey, so if people buy the virtual ticket, will they be able to kind of like how we have done in the past, we walk the microphone around. Will the people doing live watching live be able to ask live questions? Okay. That's a very good question. No, unfortunately not, mm -hmm. because uh, there will be a lot of people. There might be some instances where we will be able to take some questions um, from. Oh, I don't know what happened there. There will be some in instances where that will be able to happen. Uh, but not I can't promise every time. And if it's something that's session based, you can always we will have moderators in the app during the event. So if you you can always chat in there saying, hey, I was watching this session. I had this question and our staff can either help answer or we can work with the speaker and get an answer for you. Well, and there's going to be breaks in between. OK, so let's say you ask some questions and in between each one, we, we could try to get we will try to answer some of those like in between each session that you may have asked and uh, and go that route. Plus, the people doing the speaking are in Huba. Okay. Oh, okay. So there are all users in there. So you are able to reach out to them. You're able to friend them on there. You're able to message with them. So um, everybody's going to have different availability to get back to you, but yeah, you're going to be able to directly, um, you know, it's, it's all about like meeting each other and, and connecting. So you'll be able to do that through the Whoop app, whether you're uh, in person or, or not. And most of our speakers are there the duration of the event. So you might even find them in the hallways or, or during cocktail hour Wednesday, where everyone's hanging out yeah but if you're virtual well yeah yeah you would just go to that person you would when you go after they do their thing um you can either put it in the actual live and ask the question and, and we may be able to answer it back um or you can go ahead and friend them like you know introduce yourself and then connect on Hoova and ask them questions directly okay i mean we could look this year's virtual is going to be outside of the main conference room. It's going to be set up. It's going to be more like a live podcast that we are going to toss into the room. Um, so it's it may there will be time that we will be able to get to that point. Uh, but I think this year we're just trying to make it as seamless as possible, more like you're watching CNN and then going back in where we are able to address some questions um, and connect you with the people to get any questions that you have answered. Right. Great. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? You might have to tab. Oh, there's have two screens. <laughs> two screens. Anybody? Wow. You guys are, I'm expecting more questions than this. We see so many on social media that I was hoping that we would, let's see. Oh, another thing that I just thought of that's a frequently asked question that's also listed on Maticon in the FAQs. Um, Marriott is not a pet friendly hotel. So they do obviously accept service animals. There is documentation you'll have to take with you, but um, there is a hotel, two hotels nearby that do allow pets that are listed in that FAQ. Um, so if you were needing to bring a pet or wanting to bring a pet, uh, I recommend looking at those two hotels. Yes. Um, and then also Beth said, so we could connect a speaker after if we miss a session. Yes, you can. Once that you can connect with any of the speakers afterwards, if you miss a session. Um, okay. Amy, uh, you want to go ahead? Um, 
Hi. 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 So um, I have a question on food. I know that when we were filling out the thing, there was uh, something about vegetarian options, things like that. Um, but my husband and I are 100% carnivore, me specifically for health purposes. Um, the food that's going to be offered, would there be an in, in option or where, will there be um, a meat that doesn't have like sauces and or like it won't be like a casserole or a bunch of meat with noodles or um so the hotel with our size group has the the only catering options that we have is vegetarian as the specialty uh yeah. or special diet but they do have a a restaurant on that that's first, really good first floor um, so when I had talked to them about if somebody was maybe vegan or needed some other dietary, had dietary restrictions, they said that you could um, either call down to the front desk in the morning and kind of reserve something for pickup at lunch, just because um, Thursday we have a working lunch that's a box lunch. Where so you can like, get like a steak if you wanted, if yeah. that's what you're looking for, or like just a chicken breast, if that's what, you know, you they could have that ready for you, but we can't, their catering doesn't offer it as like a selection. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. yeah, but I will say this. So what you did fill out, just so you guys understand, we have, we'll have wraps, mm -hmm. um, like during the working lunch, there'll be a selection of wraps and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Sandwiches, sandwiches. They have some snacks with them, apples, things like that. Yeah. It's like a box lunch that you take in. And then uh, the second, then we go. What, Friday is the plated lunch. Friday is the plated lunch. And that one will be, um, chicken yeah there's chicken and then um something else i can't remember me neither but it's good it's good <laughs> I, i'm pretty sure it's uh oh my gosh i it's can't awesome. remember I, yeah it's a, it's and that's what i'm saying it's gonna have some sauce amy i'm pretty i'm almost positive it's gonna have some sauce yeah and then churchill will be whatever they put out a spread i'm sure you'll find a meat there oh yeah they'll have the okay. meat is separate but then they have like potato salad pasta salad so, all yeah. that kind of stuff yeah okay all right, I was just trying to figure out if we had we needed to plan ahead and and maybe bring some other stuff or or do something different. Didn't yeah. want to get there and kind of be surprised. If you you can go to Louisville Marriott East, um, go to their website and they have their restaurant menu. It's Charred on, Bourbon Kitchen. Yeah, Charred Bourbon Kitchen. They have the menu, so you can kind of take a peek to see everything that they offer. Um, before you actually get there and the food is good their chef yeah. is good like it's good and I, I they're it's not like your regular like they take pride in their work so if you were to ask them for something they would handle it they would work okay. find a way I would just do it in advance if you can yeah that's what I was thinking all okay. right thank you very much thank you um mm -hmm. okay let's see uh Teresa did you have a question Teresa Stewart It says you're unmuted, but we can't hear you, Teresa. Okay, we're gonna, Teresa. I'm gonna leave your hand up, um, and then hopefully, maybe we could get your um, when you get your your microphone situation figured out, let us know. Or if you put it in the yeah, if you can chat it. Oh, there she said in the chat. Will there be administrative sessions at MagnaCon? Um, will, will there be administrate administrative sessions at MagnaCon? I don't know what that means. Yeah, is that more business focused? Business, business sessions. sessions. Yes. 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 We'll have a, we'll have a couple options. Yeah, and so we will do a uh, I will we will do a presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, I will do a presentation uh, about business, and then there will also be um a again a, a a desk set up where you're going to be able to ask questions and uh, meet with the staff as well okay uh nikki uh you had your hand up for a while did you have another question yeah sorry i did take it down i put it back up um it's just about the bourbon tasting are we i know it's in the Marriott, are we allowed to bring our own mixers? I know bourbon people will hate me for that, but can we bring our own mixers to that tasting? I mean, I, look, I'm a big person of like, just do what you want and ask for forgiveness. Like if you want to bring a soda in and then like 
pour it in the cup. I mean, yeah, I haven't heard a this is absolutely a no situation. So yeah, just be okay. like, man, I like soda with my tasting of the bourbon. Right. You know, maybe just taste it and get the feeling. Oh, thank you, sir. I get it. And then if you want to pour some <laughs> soda on there, do that. Uh, you know, yeah. oil, I don't know. Whatever you I don't think they're gonna but I'm not gonna ask. I wouldn't ask. I'd just show up with it, you know. All right. Sounds good. Pick you out, you paid for it. No, no. I wouldn't let them do that to you. Okay, great. Uh, Jacqueline. Hello. Well, I guess my main question is like, if we're not going in person and we're shipping our machine in for maintenance, what kind of boxes should we use and where does everybody go to get their boxes? Because I definitely didn't keep my shipping box. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you to do. I need to do a whole video on this. Okay. <laughs> this is what you're going to do. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're, first of all, you're going to go to what machine do you have? Solo, Soul Pro. Yeah, Soul Pro. Okay, great. <clears throat> you're going to go to like UPS or FedEx. You have two options. If you go to UPS or FedEx, UPS is what we use. You can contact Lee in the office and say, Lee, I want a shipping label. Okay. Uh, for UPS. All right. She's going to be able to get it for you for a cheaper price. And you're going to be able to get when you get there. All right. Now, what okay. I would recommend doing is um, you can go and get boxes <clears throat> from UPS or you could go to uh, what's the, what is it that um, where you uh, U-Haul sells boxes as well. U-Haul has always got a great selection of boxes um, or you could go to like Office Depot and places like that. They have all of the materials. But I personally prefer to spend a little bit of money and because at UPS, you can, they will put it in and you could say, I want a heavy duty box, you know, good thickness. I want you to wrap it all up. I want it to not be able to move. And they will wrap it there with you. They will make sure that you can like look at it <clears throat> and then you could get the label through them. One thing that I highly recommend, and I'm saying this at my own peril, and I realize that, <clears throat> and I've said that several times in this call, but here it is. Here we are. Um, I would not ever value your machine over $100. Uh, the reason being, UPS is never going to pay you on that machine, okay? It doesn't matter if you value it at $7,000. you are going to spend a lot of money to ship that machine, and they are never going to pay for it when they lose it and break it. They do not care. It is a scheme. Google it. Their insurance does not work. It is all junk. And I apologize to anybody who works at UPS, but if you do, you know that I'm saying the truth. So <clears throat> what I would recommend doing UPS or FedEx or any shipping. So go there, make sure, do not value it over a hundred dollars. Um, and then, but require a signature when it's delivered, which I always recommend that you do, uh, make sure you get a tracking number and then ship it. Um, I always recommend people ship it like two to three day. All right. Instead of just straight ground, like try the two to three day option. Um, it usually gets it there a little bit safer because it's not just riding on a truck all the time. Like they put it in the air most of the time. But if you can, if that's too expensive, which because shipping rates right now are ridiculous, again, contact us and we will do all of that. But the reason that shipping is so expensive a lot of times is that people go and they're like, this is a $12,000 machine. And UPS is like, wow, we're going to have to insure this, but we're never going to pay it. We're going to just take all of your money. And it's going to cost you $900 to ship that back to, to MagnaWave. When in reality, the best thing that you could do is you have insurance on the unit. Make sure that your homeowners, your business insurance covers shipping and uh, back and forth for repairs so that if it gets lost, your that insurance policy will pay you out. The UPS insurance policy never will. I was spending $10,000 a month for insurance that whenever we would put a claim, because they have lost at least 10 machines, yeah. at least 10 of our machines um, that lost or destroyed, um, that they just don't, it doesn't matter. They're like, okay, we're just not going to, there's, and I can't fight UPS or FedEx and, and neither can most of you. So that's my recommendation is go physically see the, the box. Never get the one-ply boxes. I always recommend the two-ply boxes. There are some really good ones at UPS that are reusable. Um, and if you let us know whenever you're filling out your paperwork to keep your box, we do have a quarantine area. We'll put your name on it. Like if you have a really nice box and we will um, send it back in that box. Okay, oh, thank you. I went on a tangent. Okay, great. No, that was anybody great. Thank have, you. Okay, thanks. Sorry, Jacqueline. Does anybody else have any questions? No? Oh, wait, we got three down here, Q&A. 
I'm bringing my husband for the drive. Anyone have a tag along husband that needs someone to hang with during the meetings? Lynn Myers asked that. Lynn, get in the Huva app and go to community. But Lynn's husband is looking for a friend. There are some husbands going to be there because we have some Churchill only tickets for the husbands. So I'm sure there's somebody that you can pair up with. Yes. Uh, and and you can you can have him stuff to do. Also, um, there just things if you're staying for the weekend, things that you could do are um the Muhammad Ali Museum, Slugger Museum, Louisville Slugger Museum, they're right across the street from each other. The Science Center is cool if you happen to have kids with you. Um Heck, I like it by myself, but I'm not going to admit that publicly. Um, let's see. What else? Um, Waterfront Park. Is yeah, lovely. Waterfront Park is gorgeous. We have some of the best parks in the country. Actually, um, Seneca Park and the what's the other one? Cherokee Park. Mm -hmm. They they connect. They were actually created by the same person who made Central Park in New York. Uh, the Great Gatsby, that book was based out of Louisville. So there's some really great stuff uh, that if you are a fan of the Great Gatsby, you can Google it, look up the landmarks that you might want to see. Um, lots of cool things going on. Besides the best one, which is Churchill's. Churchill Downs Museum is amazing, too. Mm -hmm. um, any upgrades from virtual in-person tickets still available? To yes. yes. Yes, you can upgrade your ticket from virtual to in-person. So just email us at support at mwpmf.com, and we can um, get your price adjusted and the ticket done. Yeah, we can, we can handle that for yeah. you. Okay, um, is there any other questions? Anybody? Okay, Missy, uh, go ahead. So, happy birthday, Elaine. Oh, um, the first question I have is, if you are attending virtually, do you have to be online for, like, every last, um, I don't know, session and all of that? No. Or, Okay. It's all going to be replayable, okay? So there's one of two ways. We're working it out right now. So it's either going to be, a, and and again, we're testing everything um, and going through all the different options, but you're either going to have different sessions and when they end, you click into the next one, um, which will then allow you to watch the recording of the other one, or it will be one long stream and you'll just be able to like, when you log into it, just, you know, go back like you do on your DVR. Awesome. And for the giveaways for the virtual people, do they have to be online? live for those as well no you guys are awesome <laughs> no they're be... trying to make it as easy for everybody like if you can't come in person because of schedule conflicts you most likely can't watch it live either so you're trying to make it watch it when it works for you and everyone's entered to win yeah there'll be a wheel that will spin in the breaks they'll all be set out uh we're not going to tell you like when each one is because it's uh, you know that's the fun of it but we'll spin the wheel and then if your name pops up on that wheel then that's you'll win and we're doing that today so you'll see mm -hmm. it today um i did see a chat come through asking about flip-flops or churchill downs um those are considered inappropriate for millionaires row so don't wear flip-flops closed toed shoes like you need to have and not tennis shoes you need to wear like nice shoes right yeah Wait, like you were flats doing? flats are fine um i don't think tennis shoes are okay um but yeah flats you can wear like little heeled sandaly pumps but they have it right here flip-flops are considered inappropriate i have the coolest there. shoes on right now I, I they change into flats their high heels that turn into flats um it's really cool uh okay uh get a couple more chats come through too oh chats okay uh oh let's see your shoes okay <laughs> maybe i'll show them in just a second um two new messages um, no area at nitro paddock boots, LOL. Probably not, Probably you not. know, unless you had a really long dress and you could totally hide those. <laughs> um, yeah. Where is the list of the horses that ran in the Derby? Uh, it's all, it's in the certified group and, and mystic Dan was one of them. And Brian Hernandez, who won the Oaks and the Derby, uh, him and his wife, Jamie actually have a soul pro. So they use it consistently on themselves and their animals. So that's, you know, the owner and the jockey and the trainer. And I, I I need to message them. You know, Brian's like really riding a high right now. Like he went from never winning a race like this to winning both in the same weekend. Like I'm so happy for them. My husband and I both cried uh, because we're just friends with them and it's just great. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm going to like ask him if he'll shoot us a video for you guys to share about how he uses it. Um, Let's see. I, I saw somebody else raise their hand. We're, we're, where does that go? Why does it keep this? Um, see if it's on the second screen. 
Um, oh. No, I am on the second screen. Oh, there it is. Oh, Karen, you want to, you have a question, Karen? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Awesome. So I, I still, uh, how do I sign my husband up for Churchill Downs? And he'll need a date during the days too, guys. So I'm bringing <laughs> mine. How do I sign him up? So if you go to magnacon.com and then there's a button for in-person tickets, if you click that, um, it'll open up the registration page that has both the in-person and Churchill only ticket options. And then you just have to select the Churchill only mm -hmm. ticket and check out. Yeah, so magnacon.com, then you go to in-person tickets. It'll open up a window that'll allow you to choose just Churchill or like a full event ticket. And you'll also be able to add on that bourbon tasting option if all these, if all the husbands want to do the bourbon tasting together yeah. too. They could just, they, they'll, all, they'll all be friends and then they can bourbon taste on Friday together. That'll be fun for them. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, we did have a question. How far away is the airport from the venue? What is the best way to get there? Uh, it's about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And and the best way to get there is either Uber, Lyft. Um, I would say Uber, Uber and Lyft. Uber and Lyft. <laughs> like just if you, again, get on Uber and if you put in from and you just put Standardford Field and then you put in Marriott East Louisville, Kentucky, it will show you the length of time. Um, it's <sighs> Pretty easy, you guys. We're not that busy of a place with it besides that one first Saturday in May. Yeah. You should be have no trouble getting an Uber or Lyft. Okay. Do we have breakfast provided? Hold on. Or does the hotel <laughs> offer a breakfast menu? The hotel has a breakfast menu. We do not do breakfast for any day. Um, Wednesday also does not have a lunch. So keep that in mind, depending on when you're coming in, since we do start at or open registration at 10 and start sessions at 11. Um, but they have a huge breakfast menu. Yeah, we might. Um, I already got it for the staff worked out. Okay, we're right. good. We're well, good. we probably just want to get snacks. Okay, so uh, we, yeah, so just keep in mind um, that there is a bunch of food. Some people don't eat in the morning. We've had back and forth over breakfast, whether it was a good thing. We had a whole breakfast last year and no one ate it. Then we had a whole breakfast. Where it was just very confusing. So uh, the main thing is there will be coffee. Yes. Every one we'll of coffees and waters and all that available during Tea, the day. Lemonade. Tea, lemonade. All that will be available during the conference and the mornings, all that. So all that will be available. Yeah, the coffee. That's and we'll have saying. decaf and caffeinated coffee yep. because we will get questions on that. And so we'll that's... have an alcoholic and if you partake, alcoholic drinks for the bus ride mm -hmm. to Churchill. Yeah, there is a poll for that. Thank you for saying that. There is a poll because for Churchill on those bus rides, um, the buses are not too long, but loading up, if you're one of the first on the bus, you're going to be sitting on the bus for a little bit. So um, we do have drinks. So we have water. And then, like you said, there's some other non-alcoholic options, but we do have over 21 options. And there is a poll for that in Whova. If you go to the homepage and there's a polls button, um, and then you can vote on what your preference is. That way we can make sure we have enough of what everybody wants. Yeah, we stock some coolers and put them on there. Sometimes when we leave, there can be traffic leaving the racetrack. And so it could take a little bit longer to come home. So we like to have water, sodas, other options for those people who it may take some time for us to get back to the hotel. Um, hey, Lance Stubby, it's Cameron. Um, yes. Maureen wants tab. Oh, well, huh? <laughs> Maureen, I'm going to do the best I can. Hey, my friend. That might be a little hard. I know she does, though, for <laughs> real. I have actually driven and gotten her tab and shifted to her from the lady here. I don't know if I have a source anymore for tab in Louisville, but I find one. Teresa says, so lunch is the only meal provided. No, lunch is provided um, on Thursday and Friday. And then Thursday, we also provide dinner. Mm -hmm. So Thursday, when, wait. Thursday's, Thursday's lunch, yeah. okay, Fr the Thursday night we provide dinner, and then Friday is lunch, and then Monday night or Wednesday night we have um like hors d'oeuvres and a um we have a charcuterie charcuterie setup. and a cocktail bar, so you'll get tickets for that, so you'll be able to take part in the cocktail, beer, wine, and uh, it does have some liquors on it too. Oh, okay, so, cool. So we'll give you some tickets for that. So you can get some complimentary drinks as well as take part in the charcuterie on the first day. And I just wrote down, we might have to make some changes for Wednesday because I forgot that it was all day. So <laughs> we might have to call them right now. We'll figure it out. You all don't worry. You won't start. Um, and then let's see. 
Anything else? No? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys our giveaway in a second too. Um, wish I could be there, just the cards this year. Oh, Jacqueline, it's okay. Next next time, next time. Next time's gonna be the big one. You all wanna see my shoes? <laughs> okay, so here they are. I mean, I'm just gonna do it, you know? And if you, you've probably seen these online. So if you pull this down, and I'm not really that good at it, but you like push it in. Just don't break your shoe. I know. I'm not trying to break my hand either. But this folds flat. There is a way to do it. I've done it before. I did it the other day. Hold on now. Just give me a second. I'm going to figure it out. This folds flat. This folds flat and then covers it up. So it's a it's a, it's a a flat shoe. They're really cool. I wore them to a wedding and was like pleasantly surprised at how cute it looked. But I don't remember how to do it. Hmm. Or maybe got to push up. Anyways, I'll remember later and I'll show you guys in the certified group. But here they are. They're super cute and they fold flat and they're from, if you know how to do it, and they're from Vice. You know, check it out if you're looking for a shoe for Churchill Downs. They're very nice. Okay, great. Now let's do the giveaways. Here's what we got. We're going to do a wheel because it's my birthday. We have these nice bags. Look at that. That's cute. I love this already. And it, and it folds all the way up. Ta-da! You want to hold it like Vanna White? <laughs> hide your wave, hide your wave. There it is. Okay. So this is a 16 ounce bottle of the concentrate. So if you dilute this for the wound spray, it'll be a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, this will get you far. Hat. Okay. I'm not gonna put this on, but oh, this is another tr uh, Preakness. Preakness. So that a little bit. So, oh, Heather got this all wrapped up all nice. That's okay. I'll put it back. So we have a, what year is this? Uh, 1995. So we have this really cute Preakness class. The other two may vary, They're, but they also have glasses in them. I think, I think she got all Preakness classes. Okay. So they are all the same theme. Okay. These glasses are really cool. We may or may not have something like that for you. At, 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 this is a MagnaWave ponchos. This is that thing you put on the back. Pop socket. Pop socket. <laughs> and then some stickers as well as this bag. This is, you know, Actually, a really. You know. I mean, that hydrowave I think is almost a hundred dollar value. Great, and go. well, I maybe I'll throw some more hats in there. So this is the winners. That we have three people who are going to win today. Hi, Catherine from Northeast Ohio. Thank you for chatting with us. Uh, let's make sure we don't have more questions before I spin the wheel. How do you sign up for sessions? Um, the only sessions you would sign up for are the breakout sessions. Everything else you don't have to sign up for. Anything in the main ballroom. Um, is you're good to go. You just walk in once you get your event badge at registration. So really it's just the optional breakout sessions and that's listed as optional in Whova. Yes. Okay. Um, and we, we will have um, HydraWave available at MagnaCon as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, great. So let me figure out how to do the wheel. Do, do, do. Share screen. Can you see it still? All right, yeah. great. Why has it got this popping up here? All right, here we go. Who wins the first bag? Roxanne Graham. Congratulations, Roxanne. Yay. Um, okay, should we just rapid fire? Spin? Yeah, you can spin it again. Okay, here we go. This is number two. Missy DeForest. Yeah, I don't know if I ever say that right. Um, okay, we are going to stop share for one second. I'm gonna see if there's a question and then I'll come back because I like the suspense. Um this is it. Last chance. Does anybody have any ooh, anybody else have any questions? Okay, I joined very late. Renee says, uh, was this recorded? And if so, how can I watch the entire content? Yes. Yes. So I have to download it for my Zoom. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we had talked about before of putting it up on magnacon.com under the FAQs. Yeah. And then we have all your all's information and we'll email you a link. So everybody who's on today, like it will render, I will, we will download it. So we'll probably send it out Monday. I can also put it in Whova. Oh, put it in Whova. I can put a recording up we'll in Whova. Put Hoover. it in Whova. Um, 
I've heard great things about HydroWave. It's amazing. I love it very much. I 100% use it for wound spray, pink eye, everything. Cold and flu season. Yeah, everything. <laughs> uh, all the time. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, I'm going back to the wheel. I got excited. This is the last one. Okay, let's start again. Courtney Landucci. Congratulations, Courtney. Uh, we'll just reach out. We have these. Yeah. Yep. We will reach out to you just to confirm your shipping address and then we'll get them in the mail. Okay. Does anybody have any last minute questions about anything that they would like to share or ask here while we... Do you have a book of HydroWave uses? I don't have a book, but I, can, I just should probably... Is, it in, is there anything in the app? Yeah, I on, think there's, on there should be guidelines with HydroWave in the app. It also has dosing info on the bottle too. But. Yeah, it, there's some explanation on the bottle and we have some videos as well. Um, okay, that's, that's it. You guys don't have any more questions? Do you guys like the this way? Do you guys like this town hall thing? Yeah, a little bit, little bit better than lives because it's just us. Yes, yes, I like it. Okay, great. Well, then, you know, what I'm trying to do is... Um, um, maybe possibly set these up. We're going to work with it with the mentor program, but also set this up for um, the availability for monthly uh, town halls where everybody could sign up and we could talk about anything. Um, do we have to post name or does it show it? Uh, Honeydew Farms is what we're seeing for you, uh, if that's what you mean. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jacqueline. Oh, Nikki, you said something. You want to ask a question real quick, Nikki? I'm sorry. I just want to know if um, mentors or mentories are going to meet up or that's like in the future. So we're getting all the mentor people together right now. Uh, I'm getting the lists um, and then the product specialists are starting the process of reaching out and contacting you all and getting right now we're getting people who want to be mentors. Um, and then my goal is to work after MagnaCon to work out a way for uh, mentor uh, mentorees to meet with mentors. Um, but hopefully what the goal is for it to start as a natural progression when somebody comes in to the pipeline. But obviously we have all the people who are already in here. They've already have a machine that may want some mentoring. So um, yeah, we could probably also set some sort of group up in the community page where people could start meeting up. Uh, it's difficult for me to facilitate matching every single person. It's just that would be from the past to now. But there are there is going to be a way that we are going to build what we're working to build is like a mentor group that then we could say, here's some mentors, reach out, pick one and reach out instead of uh, trying to navigate. Right. Like playing matchmaker, if that makes right. sense. All right. Thank you. Well, um, I am working to make it better for people who are coming in. I realize that it's a problem. Um, let's see. Lynn has a question. Lynn, do you have a question? It says Lynn, I think has a question. Missy said. I don't know where you are, Lynn. Do you see Lynn? Mm -mm. Lynn Meyer? Lynn, said, Lynn oh. said she couldn't raise her hand. So I think she has a question. Hold on. I just, Lynn, is it Lynn, Lynn Myers? I asked you to unmute. I don't know. She might be having technical difficulty. Oh, Lynn, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. I, I, I'm just, I'm just so confused through this whole thing. Um, I had other questions. I don't remember what they were anymore. I, I was reading so many other questions. So that's all right. I'll catch on when I get there. Okay. All right. Well, you can always reach out to support at mwpmf.com and we'll be happy to answer anything. All right. Super. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Melissa, do you have a question? Hey, hi, everybody. I do. Um, I just want to double check. Um, are nice sneakers like on the a line of Keds allowed with a skirt at Churchill Downs? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. As long as Even you're dressed up appropriate. 
Yes. It like white sneakers with like a pretty dress, like, or like right. a nice skirt and a nice top. They're not going to say it's when you're trying to wear like runners and uh, wear jeans. Uh, just think church. Like, would you put those on and wear that outfit to church? Then, um, then you're fine. That's usually, okay. that's what they visually, they visually go by. Um, yeah, they, yeah. They just don't want like black tennis shoes and holy jeans, you know? Right. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I think I think there's a video too that Meredith did showing some. Yeah, she does. Uh, I think it's a TikTok. Yeah, I wonder where that is. We should put that on frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. uh, put that on on uh, Magna Con page. Okay. Anybody? That's it. I think we've given all of our giveaways. It's my birthday, so I'm going out to dinner. Um, I appreciate you guys. I can't wait to see everybody there in person. Yeah. And virtually at MagnaCon, get the Whova app. We still have plenty of virtual tickets left. So tell your friends, like tell your friends, this is CEO. Oh, look at the baby. Do you see the baby? Oh, Nikki has a baby. Anyways, I got distracted by the baby. Um, yes. Yeah, so tell your friends, uh, let them know, especially if you have a vet or a vet tech in your life. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to see you guys there. Um, appreciate you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your beautiful weekend with your families. And that's happy it. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.